Have a good day coders. Welcome back. Start natin ang ating uh, Visual Studio 2019. We will uh, create a program calculator Windows Form application. Windows Form application.net framework. Next, change the project name WFA underscore second project. Create. Our environment. You can, the form, change the name in the properties and the back color. Change the back color, active caption, change the name to calculator and the text. We will use the name calculator, the name, and this is the name calculator and the text form 1, we will change it to calculator also. So this one is changed. You can also change the size of the form. The properties where you can find also the size 410 to 396. If you change this one, it will change also the size here and you can uh, lock the size here in the properties. Okay, what we need here is we are going to make a uh, 19 uh, button and uh, one uh, text box for the calculator. Click the toolbox and get all the uh, 19 common control text box, a uh, button box button one copy this one and paste control c control b control b to 19 19 another one toolbox a uh, text box change the size of the text box or uh, change the properties of the text box and the name so the text box will be named as our input box so the, it, this one will be changed by input now it was changed change the font and change the properties of the button 12 and bold and change the name to button of 1 text button 1 and our name is 1 design 1 so resize this one like this one and put this one here and copy this one uh, click this one control and here is the make the same size change the properties of all the button to name and also the text corresponding to the calculator button and uh, repeat all the procedure to all uh, buttons and make it the mathematical operation the other button and cancel and enter the last number 10 and become 0 so change the font change the text to 0 and change the name to 0 name CE Okay, let's uh, make a good uh, presentation for our button. Same uh, display and adjust the our calculator. This is our calculator. This calculator don't have any code yet. The Windows form solution, second project, our form which is this calculator name. So you can change also this form 1C is here with the calculator. It's not a problem, but we will uh, remain as like that. After that, this program is the entry point, so don't uh, change anything here. So if you want to, to go on the code, let's uh, go on the code. So you have to check the view code of the form or F7. So this is our code and we have here everything. So the uh, namespace, the second project and our calculator, which is the form of our calculator that we changed in the uh, properties and now the is initially and the public calculator the first uh, method and then it is initialized so no no code yet and uh, no program yet that created from this design so what are we going to do is we will make a uh, callback uh, events and then the callback events will be clicking this uh, one every or go to the button and then after that click so to go there here in the number one click events and then you have to find the the action click and if you click this one it will automatically uh, put here on the uh, uh, form.cs our code automatic let's uh, go back click the click here if you click here it's one click and it will be added here have you seen that so this one is already our uh, callback action the object and then the argument which is the sender and the e 
Now let's do this one in all of the uh, button. Our code. we will now go the calculator. Put that x equals uh, string one for the last uh, button division. Text. The sign is uh, all below the division sign. So you have to all two four six division sign. All below. Press all two four six. Save and let's try. Start compiling. So here we are, our calculator. I want that the the numbers will be displayed totally here. So what I'm going to do is to add an additional concatenation. And then we will use the plus sign. So put here all uh, plus sign to concatenate the, the string. 2 minus. And let's run again this program. Continue and make the mathematical operation. Start again. It's compiling. Plum plus one equals. We will do a code, the mathematical operation, and then we'll display the answer. A go to equal this one. So we need to make a string here, a variable string, which is a txtn equals uh, our input uh, that txt. We will get it the txt and uh, to document. Now let's uh, make also a string array. We set this one initialize and uh, integer equals uh, zero comma multiply. Set okay array of character for each character y in uh, input text to see if it is valid or not. No, if it's not valid, so, so we need to make a test plus plus include integer test the mathematical operation is uh, doubled or not so the y is equal to the character of plus and it was only single quote uh, add a plus plus so we need to count it no another one is else f so that is our checking so we have here, if this one add is uh, greater than, so we need to exit the program and put an error. So if test is 100, so we have to check if the mine or the operation is also uh, doubled or not. If, if minus is equal to 0 and... add is equal to 1 only addition is allowed and dead so math equals plus and else input takes error mathematical operation and then we need another if math if math equals to the string of plus or math equals to the string of minus We have to make a uh, array of character to split the uh, mathematical operation from the uh, input text of num1 and uh, num2. Equal to plus and we will use the split string character string array is equal to uh, txtn and that split split character and uh, after that we will now uh, define the variable load num1 that parse to our string array and uh, our index is 0 the first string our first number will be and make it num2 to make it a string 1 load the uh, result another variable result to 0 if let's make now the condition of our mathematical operation 
if uh, the math is equal to string uh, loss so we need to resolve now as the operation so we need to say resolve is equal to num1 uh, num1 num1 plus num2 okay and then this one will be done in all operation control c control b so this one is uh, math is divide num2 divide division and multiply so the operation is multiply so that is our operation and the result is inside and our result is uh, integer so we have to convert it to string our program and we have to remove this uh, input input text here start equals to it's correct but i forgot to include the point here so i need to include it also here so we will uh, include also the clear and ce4 and enter so we don't have so let's uh, include the point here and uh, let's put put here the else from test 100 input text plus uh, error here if you if we want to clear one uh, character backward so we need to put input that text is equal to that text uh, object length minus one so it will move backward equal click and then uh, sender and a if we want to clear everything so we need to uh, put here input text clear everything so nothing or null that zero okay tapos na ang ating program summarizing 19 buttons and one uh, text box we created variables character array for each test the condition if only valid keyboard numbers and characters is allowed a condition for our mathematical operation one operation is allowed condition mathematical operation string array split character mathematical operation the result to input text else error enter click using the equal object and event argument the clear click and the ce click input x clear so let's run the program our calculator one plus one equals and clear nine plus plus two equals error w plus six five equals error so let's uh, see the uh, divide 60 divided by 10 equals 6 clear 90 minus 4 equals 86 okay so let's use the enter so 96 times 0 enter equals zero so our calculator is working so thank you very much and mabuhay tayong lahat bye